Good morning, everyone. Can I please have a quick sound check? If you could please type a one in the chat box, if you can hear me, and also if you could see the share screen. Thank you. All right, welcome to another wild session today. Are we going to see limit down? Uh, that's going to be really interesting. The Dow is already down 500 points. The S&P is down over 50 points. NASDAQ is down over 133 points as of right now. 44 points in Russell down. Everything is down, guys. Uh, gold is down over $2.40. Uh, it's down 0.13%. And oil is down as well, almost um Four, almost 4.3, uh, th almost uh, th uh, 3 percent, over 3 percent, 3.72 percent. I was looking at the percentage changes and uh, we're seeing Russell that has accelerated to a multi-support level. Now, this is a multi-month support level that we have been discussing last week. It is that it's the bottom of that huge range. And this is going to be the decision point. We do have some um levels that um are going to be very aggressive on the trading session uh and of course the media is trying to blame either the slow worries of slow growth or coronavirus or variants or whatever it is so uh they don't know who to blame but the reality is that the market has been overly extended and uh, we are seeing that um, the market uh, needs to um, pretty much calibrate. We, there were, uh, I, what I'm trying to say is that the move up that we have been having, it was really great while it lasted, but we cannot just go parabolic up. So uh, things must start retracing, retracing. And for example, if uh, you're looking at oil, even oil had about six weeks to the upside, and this is the beginning of the third week for the retracement. Uh, so let's begin. Uh, first off, economic releases. Today at 10 o'clock, we have the NAHB housing market index. It is a moderate release that is coming out, but it's coinciding with the major reversal time in the market. And uh, that makes it, in particular, uh, a caution uh, a caution time. All right, so let's begin with YM. And I will tell you a little bit about what's happening in the Dow right now. First of all, we're trading on, a, you, you can see the levels right here. So we're trading on a triple bottom, multiple confluence uh, weekly, uh, weekly level as well. So what does that mean? We have a triple bottom from the daily structure. In fact, I'm going to do something else. Let me just share this screen here because we're not going to have a trade right off the open. OK, all right. Um, so this is the Dow. You could see here that we have a triple bottom into the support level into that 34,000. So we're basically basing within a thousand point range. This isn't a thousand point range, guys. This is so big. We're ranging from 34,000 to the old time high, which is 35,000. So uh, what happened here was that we're having a high, we're having a higher high, and we actually had a higher high, guess when? <laughs> on Friday. So on Friday, we were 25 points shy of hitting the old time high. We actually went to 34,975, and then the meltdown started. So here we are. A thousand points lower, almost close to a thousand points lower, close to a thousand points lower in just one day, 24 hour cycle, if you will. All right. So, what do we have? What, what do we also have from this structure? So, we also have a weekly that is trading right here on the 20 SMA. So, that brings a little bit of strength into this area. So the reason why I'm telling you this is because from this higher time frame to a smaller time frame, we can potentially have a short squeeze. The short squeeze can come in very violently at the open. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna wait a little bit today. But this can come violently off the open. Obviously, the more violent time frame and the more aggressive time frame to take advantage of that would be the five minute. 
But as you can see here, we're, we're not really having any clues because we have been consolidating. We popped up a little bit and then we failed again. So all of these pullbacks that you see here, they're shallow. So the market is on a mission to take it to, to bring lower prices. So you can see that the five minute is not providing us with any kind of information because it's failing at each level. So we're navigating a little bit further into the 15 minute. Now, if you see the 15 minute, it's really trailing down. So what that means that it's into a, a really tight trail. You can see that the moving averages have started to fan out since three o'clock in the morning. And there was uh, after the initial uh, um, down move in the market, we have stabilized and then we um, broke down at 3 a.m. when the London market opened. So you can see that there was literally no reaction at the European market. They were just waiting for the London session to open and the market went down. It went back up. So you could see the swift uh, moves to the upside that are literally telling us that there's more downside to it. That's why I'm like questioning, are we going to have a limit down today? And then we're getting uh, and then we're getting uh, the price uh back into a support level we hovered here just a little bit and now uh just before the open at 7 30 we had another swing to the low side and again to the 34,000. this area here is really strong so this in particular from higher time frames has the capacity to bring at least a little bit of a pop into the market we're definitely we will see if that is going to be the case uh, we're trading right now into the 10 EMA. So this is just a 15 minute chart. Uh, the 30 minute chart, see, I would go more for a 30 minute chart than anything else. And in fact, right now, the one minute chart is trying to do the squeeze. So I'm going to take it back to the one minute here. Okay. So you can see that the one minute is already trading above this prior high. Uh, by the way, for those of you that are new, remember that you need to apply caution uh, if you're here for the very first time, watch it, trade in a simulated account. And then uh, as I am going to refresh the info um, about position sizing and all that good stuff so you can protect your portfolio, you can watch us and uh, see how we trade for the very first day. So the one minute has already rotated. Uh, it is already trading per se into a resistance area. And this would be like the first short squeeze, uh, first short squeeze try. When we're having the market that is literally crash crashing um the uh difference between the end the, the difference between the uh bid and the ask is going to widen up. So the possibility of a slip uh to have slippage is really high. So I'm going to be watching this area, particularly in the Dow and Russell. These are the first two that are getting ready for uh, for rotations. But you can see that it came into this first try area and now it's pulling back. So this is exactly what we want to see. First of all, we want to see this little shallow uh, support level at 34040 hold. And if this is going to hold, then the next uh, pattern that will be developing on the two or the five definitely will be uh, will be worth trying. All right. Now, remember, as with any kind of um, a short squeeze, uh, we uh, there is a strong possibility that th these are all all short squeezes, so you understand, are 50-50. Uh, so what that means, you have 50% chance of working, 50% ch uh, chance of uh, stopping out. So for this, uh, please use half the risk. Today, more than any other day, use half the risk. We're also coming in from a calibration from Friday. So Friday, we had option expiration. This is the calibration. And this was quite a calibration that happened in the overnight, okay? So this may be a little sandwich right here that is developing uh, into YM. So as long as 34,040 is going to hold, we're going to look for a trade that breaks 150. If it breaks 150, uh, we may look for a continuation higher back into this uh, blue line, which represents the target, which pretty much is going to be like all or nothing um type of scenario now i'm seeing that the dow and nasdaq are not holding uh the lows so far so they're still uh they still have tons and tons and tons of pressure so i think we better wait a little bit before um you know we need to wait until the dust settles a little bit before anything um 
uh, before anything is, uh, is setting up. Uh, Google, for example, is at 25, uh, 2,500, and that is a, a really nice buy location. So let's see if the algos are going to kick in. Same with NVIDIA into the 715 to 718. This would be a buy area, technically. Uh, and this would be aggressive, like a leg in type of opportunity. So not all eggs in one basket. All right. So um, on the other side, we have Baba that is weak. We have, um, yeah, most of these, uh, 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 most of these NASDAQ stocks are a little bit weaker. Financials are weak as well, but they are on support. So I'm looking at XLF to give me a gauge of what's going on. We have 35 for support and 37 for resistance, 37, 37 and change. So I'm looking at these parameters because this area into the 35, and again, today we don't have a lot of uh, um, financials that are reporting. I have to check again. Uh, but um, if we are going to come out with more financials that will be reporting, then this may particularly be a buy. Okay. Uh, hey, Ria, it's crazy out there today. It's really crazy out there. Remember, things are going to be super quick. Do not leave your trades on. If you want to take a break, make sure that you're not in any trades. Or if you want to take a break, you know, make sure that you have your um, stop loss already in place. So, I mean, this is serious business. Okay. All right. So uh, in particular, in the Dow, this is what I'm seeing. Um, so this is what I'm monitoring right now, 34,000 to 3440. Ideally, I would like to see this 34,040 hold. That would be like a bit of a, a bit of strength. But we need to see this hold for another 10 minutes because it's so super early right now. So we need at least the first 15 minutes in and we need the price to calm down a little bit. All right, let's move on to the E-mini S&P. I'm going to go a little bit far out so you can understand the context. Uh, and I'm going to go all the way to the weekly. And uh, as you can see, the weekly, we have a prior pivot high here at 42.34. That is going to coincide with the 10 EMA. And it's also going to provide a lot of support for price. So uh, um, I think Lori had a, uh, Lori had a, uh, Lori actually said it here. Um, <laughs> yeah, no. Absolutely. Take your computer with you. <laughs> okay. So um, Lori mentioned it here that she would like a flush to uh, uh, 4250 in order to get a little bit more um, confident into uh, that flush to the downside, eliminating all the stops and then running back up. So uh, this is the context from the weekly. The daily as well, you can see here that we're navigating. We do have some little support right here, but again, a flush into the 50 would be a lot better than a lot better than the area where we are trading right now. And this doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to short it. I like the patterns that are developing right now on the one minute and even on the five minute. We could go for a little gap fill uh, in S&P as well as into the Dow, but we're going to have to wait for confirmation on that. Uh, and then again, the 15 minute, as you can see, the price has been trying to hold into this area for quite some time because uh, from the four hour structure, I'm going to bring the four hour here, the four hour is sitting on the 200 simple moving average and it's coiling around. So this would be like a good bounce opportunity. Okay, so at least some algos are going to pick it up and try to push it up a little bit if that's going to be the case. If we continue to be weak and if um, this current last hourly high that is going to wrap up in about 20 minutes, uh, if this is going to be the lid at 42.71, then then we will look to short. So for the trading session today, we start with neutral bias. We're looking primarily for some short squeezes because we had an accelerated move down. You can see it like 500 points down in YM, 50 points down in ES. So at some point, these uh, algos that have been trading in the overnight trading session have to take some profits. And we're going to have to look for some opportunities to leg in and possibly uh, possibly look for some uh, looks for some trades. Um, I would definitely look for a 15 minute high low, and this is this th this is what I will look for. So this 15 minute high low means that we're gonna place the stop below the 50 below the 15 minute low into the 60, and we're gonna try to buy it over this high over 72. So 73 would be our entry. 
Uh, if you're trading micros and if you're very new to the trading room, uh, I call trades in uh, full size contracts. So if you're trading micros, please use uh, at least, especially today, give it one more point. So if I'm taking it at 72, you could take it at 72, 75 or 73. Okay. And that is because uh, micros are a lot more volatile. All right, so this is ES. Let's take a look at NASDAQ. NASDAQ is also very weak. So like I'm monitoring right now, all the price action. Uh, we're gonna talk about NASDAQ. NASDAQ has a lot of resistance in the 14,555. It also has possibility for a short squeeze all the way into the 570, maybe back into the 590 or so. This is going to be like the big, big target. And the reason why I said target, this is all or nothing. This is the kind of trade that if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So keep your stop in, take partial profits along the way, and then leave the last lot for the that 590. So the first 15 minute candle is going to be very important as it's going, this is the calibration candle. This is the discovery, the range candle. So um, if this low is going to hold into the 10 o'clock segment, then we may have seen the law of the day today, uh, at least for the morning session. But if we continue to bleed, then again, we're not going to have a trade right away unless it sets up for a short. So like I said, we're very neutral. We're not bullish. We're not, we're not bearish. And we're going to be looking for that really good trading opportunity. And uh, for, uh, for, the, uh, for NASDAQ, I want to show you something really quickly in NASDAQ, and that is coming uh, from a monthly chart. And you can see where the sell-off is coming. And I know, you know, all the media out there is trying to find a reason why this short is happening. Well, because it got into an extension, right? It got into an extension. Things got really heated up right here. So we fulfilled our target level. We talked for so long about a target right here in the 14800 834, very close to 15,000. We just poked into that this month and now we're coming in a little bit, okay? This is what we usually do when we uh, hit these targets. All right, so um, also last but not least, RTY, uh, RTY, here it is. All right, so RTY has multiple bottoms into this area. Ta-da, here it is, here's the daily chart. We have a massive confluence level right here, along with the 200 simple moving average. So I'm not going to ignore the fact that we could get a really big push down before we rotate because we haven't tapped into the 200 SMA. But this is a reaction area. So if the price is going to pull back into this area, it has the possibility to rotate from this area. I don't know how the rotate if the rotation is going to take the price back up into the into the top of the range but this is exactly what it happened every single time we came in to this area and you could see it right here pull back and we actually made a new high for the year pull back and we made a new high pull back and back into the new high breaking above the prior high back into the support and almost challenging the prior high for the year also into the high and back into support. So it has been going back and forth. Now, remember one thing, this is a really massive multi-time frame support level because when you're looking, for example, on a monthly chart, you're seeing that the price is really getting very close to the 10 exponential moving average as well. And oftentimes when the price is very elevated from these moving averages, what does it do? Well, it pulls back into it because it's so extended, right? The moving average is pulling the price like a magnet and then it will rotate and probably continue higher or if it's going to close below it will continue to bring new lows okay um all right so let's take a quick look at gold uh gold as well it is retracing um from the monthly level is still holding support uh, from the weekly, uh, from the weekly structure is going to be bullish above bearish below. This is going to be uh, the area. I would say we should have a little bit of caution. All right, I'm going to mark it right here uh, as support. Okay, so we know that if we break this support level, the price is going to start uh, going down because of the structure of uh, uh, that we currently have. So we have a series of lower highs. 
and we have just one, two, three lower lows right here. So if we break this low, this is the first attempt of a rotation and the change of trend. But if we, uh, there are two things that can happen. First of all, if we violate the 1790, we can go back down to 1750, no problem. However, remember that this is a higher low. So what can happen here, it gets switched down a little bit, take all the stops and then rotate for back higher. Okay, so yeah, this can happen as well. And then from the daily charts, okay, I'm, I'm looking to see if we're not missing any trades right now. So from the daily chart, you can see that we came in right into the 50 SMA and we had a, a, right into the 20 SMA and we had a really nice reaction of, uh, of buying into that area. All right, last but not least, CL, and then we're going to get back into these uh, futures indices. Oil is just pulling back. Uh, we're going to have to leave it alone for now. Um, I'm not seeing any buying or any selling opportunity in it. We have a massive down day uh, in it. And uh, the hourly charts, so it's not really extended to the downside in the sense that we could get a short squeeze. Uh, it's not. And by the way, we had multiple opportunities here at five o'clock in the morning for those of you that were up at six o'clock per se. All right, here it is. So this was the uh, this was the really nice area where you could have shorted based on this nice um, uh, bear sandwich. OK, all right. So let's get back to our uh, charts and let's see if we find any trading opportunities right now. I'm going to. Uh, take these charts to the five minute. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Look at those tails. They're really trying to hold. No, the 15 minute, the five minute is garbage. Yeah, we're gonna look at we're gonna look at these fifteen minute high lows here. One of my favorite as of right now. We're gonna have to wait and see a little bit, but Nvidia already popping. We're already and like I said, Nvidia is into Nvidia, Amazon. They're into the buy zones. Um, at least Amazon is into minor support. Uh, uh, let me know if you guys can see the six screens, uh, the six charts. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. So here's what's happening with NASDAQ on the 15, uh, is into a trigger position. However, it has, uh, it has the 20 SMA as a lid for now. You can see that today we don't have any uh, uh, levels that would mark triggers. We don't, we don't. Now we sit and wait, Dow is getting a little bit weaker. We're gonna take a look at some stops that are under these indices. Russell is getting a little bit stronger here. The day is still young. It's just Monday. We're approaching a one hour rotation. In, uh, I'm sorry. Um, um, yeah, a one hour, but a four hour rotation in Russell because the one hour has already triggered. The four hour is going to be very interesting because this one could go for a bigger target that all or nothing type of trade. Uh, remember today, most importantly, do not jump in anything. Um, you need to have precise triggers, okay? Don't jump in anything. You need to have precise confirmation of synchronicity. Precise triggers this is not the type of day to scale in or scale out or work the trade. No, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work. Based on the price action that I'm seeing, that is not gonna work. All right, 15 minute high low is getting ready for Russell, but the Dow is weak. S&P is weak and NASDAQ is weakening. So Russell parameters would be obviously a stop 2100. 
and the entry, wow, it's going to be 24.5, 21, 24.5. That's huge. And the target for it, there are going to be really small targets. Uh, see, it's asymmetric, uh, 21, 28, 21, 30, and 21, 32. So I'm going to I'm gonna hold off on this one to see if we could have any other patterns that may form on these. Uh, the setup is not that bad, but the risk is a little bit too wide. Uh, the stop is asymmetric. Like I said, you know, wide stop and really small target, not loving it. If we would have had uh, synchronicity throughout all the indices. And if they were, would have been lining up, then we would have had a little bit more odds, even with an asymmetric risk. Netflix is rotating already. So let's keep an eye on NASDAQ. I'm looking at the stock market as well because this is going to give us today the first clue as in which direction we're going to be moving today. All right, new low in YM. This is not good as it's making a new low heading into 10 o'clock. All right, so remember, we still have news at 10 o'clock, so that's in less than 10 minutes. Not high impact, but I think it's going to have um, so have a say here into these patterns. So uh, we're having Russell and NASDAQ that have not made new lows yet. Let's not rush into anything today. Oh, so Sheila Biden is speaking at 11.30? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any president that speaks during the market open, it's not good. I'm not loving it. <laughs> yeah. So usually, yeah, you're going to see like a big show here. <laughs> not good. All right. So what I'm seeing, guys, Russell's still holding for now. Russell's still holding for now.
<laughs> oh, Dell, you got it. You got that right. Swoosh down. Let's just wait, wait for the flush. We don't have a short trade. Let's just wait. Nothing to see here. I think the trade may come up like 1020 to 1030 the way I'm seeing it. <clears throat> yep, those puts Odell.
All right, seconds away from the news. My gosh, my price is not even moving. Okay, moving now. It's like holding its breath. All right, we gotta wait until this move ends here. <clears throat> All right, I think we may look starting in a like five minutes or so, maybe some squeezes here. And on any pullback, if we get a shallow pullback, so if we get a squeeze, we are going to look for long. And if the price weakens, we're going to take the short. 
Okay, so be ready for both positions. This is not a day to use soft stops, so be very careful. I'm telling you, there are some stocks that are screaming higher today. I'm not seeing a lot of weak momentum. Yeah, fingers crossed, exactly, exactly, exactly. All right, let's see. Now, remember, the first five minute um, rotation did not work out in the market. We had in all the indices, right? So we had that. Um, okay, so let's see here. We may have a short squeeze in ES. 4249. 42.49 by 42.39. All right, let's do this. Half the size, let's get in. 42.49, long, ES. Oh, forgot the caps. Where are the caps? Where are the caps? Never mind. There they are. Okay. So 4249 by 4238. That's the stop. We have equal highs of 48 on the five minute. This is gonna be a short squeeze. Um, 52. We have targets into. Fifty two, fifty five, fifty seven, sixty. If we get there, if we get there. Okay, we're not in yet. Remember, for those of you that are trading micros, give at least three ticks to one point because they're a lot more volatile. This would be the first short squeeze. And I saw too late this morning. Oh my gosh, there was like a, an amazing trade in Kroger. An amazing trade in Kroger. Oh. What a beautiful trade. All right. All right, let's see. Uh, I'm in, so my, uh, I'm in. I got triggered in. Remember half the size. Remember our discussion, half the size. This is not a market where you put in all your size. And it is a hard stop, hard stop.
NASDAQ is uh, weaker this moment. So far, the 2103 is holding support in Russell. We have an inside bar in uh, YM. Wine can be a, also a short squeeze. It's also asymmetric. Uh, it would be 895. It is. Why am I not having the caps on again? The stop is still going to have to be the low of the New York session, which is 33829. So we can put it at 825. All these trades will be executed half the size, half the size. The reason for it is because you can get dinged out. And why am targets? It's going to be eight, uh, nine, ten, nine, twenty, nine, twenty five. If we get to nine thirty to nine thirty five. Very important to take these trades at the trigger. Have the hard stop because if you don't have a hard stop, I'm telling you, they can run these uh, levels much, much lower and it's not going to get, it's not pretty. Uh, the Dow is right on the 20 SMA on the weekly. And that's why I'm saying that this can possibly be a long rotation. Let's not forget that we have been down for one, one, two, three. No, hold on. One, two. Yeah. Yeah, so quite a lot here, yeah, it's like. This would be like the eighth hour if we close week. Russell is still holding pretty well. Uh, copper breaking down below that 420 just tapped again into the 420s. Um, guess what's popping? AMD. AMD, a little bit of rotation in AMD. NASDAQ is trying to calibrate as well a little bit. Uh, and this RTY short squeeze, RTY is the only uh, index that is really, really close to the short squeeze. It's actually the most um, declined. So it's trying to hold.
Cancel YM. We're still in ES. Still holding a 38. I don't think it's gonna hold for long. Okay, I'm out. I'm out, out, out. So ES stopped. Sitting right on that confluence support. Man, I don't think it wants to hold it. I think it wants to trash that, but it's right on the fifth. This is such a massive support here at 38. Multi time frame support it's coming from the weekly, it's coming from the daily, it's coming from the hourly, it's coming from multiple, multiple time frames, even intraday. It's almost 1020. No, it doesn't seem like, I don't know. So NASDAQ just have mixed feelings here. NASDAQ is just holding. See, that's the reason why we need to use these um, hard stops and also we need to use half the risk. NVIDIA is rotating. NVIDIA is really strong. NVIDIA, Netflix, AMD. Check out SMH. Yep. SMH is rotating as well and it's holding really well so far.
Okay, so NASDAQ, let's take a quick look again. NASDAQ 15 minute short squeeze as well. Same thing, half the size, get ready guys. It's gonna get, it's gonna trigger right away. Hold on, I'm gonna give you the levels right now. When you're having this kind of price action, that's why we're using these uh, hard stops because the stops, uh, for example, uh, can go around, uh, let's say for a yes, can go around like another 10 to 12 points down and then it can, can bounce up. So that's why you're going to need a lot more trades. So the only way to do that, to fit them in your budget is to take them with half the risk. Okay, so I'm looking at 509 in NASDAQ. NASDAQ law 509. Stop is going to be 455. The target short squeeze is going to be 520. There is asymmetric. And uh, we're going to go for yes again. Yes, 15 minutes setting up pretty nicely for 1030. Um, Forty-two, forty-three, long, yes. I would do 0. 0.5. And uh, the stop is gonna be the low of the session, but uh, we're gonna give it 4230. First target's going to be 46. 48, next one, 50, 53. We're gonna be looking for these 15 minute rotations to kick in. It, now's the time, now's the time. We haven't had a rotation. Also like Russell here. Don't jump in anything. Just take them at the trigger. You don't take them at the trigger, you're gonna get slaughtered. The trigger is there for a reason. Don't think that you're outsmarting the market. You're not. We need to be very humble. You need triggers in this market. This is not a trending market where you just scale in, go on your merry way. It's like, okay, I'm going to work myself out of this one. No, this is serious business today. This is the day where you can blow up your account. YM is setting up as well. going to be 815 and why am why am 815 long uh the stop is below the low 740 
and the targets eight fifty to eight seventy. Nine hundred on a best case scenario. <clears throat> New parameter in ES, take it over 42, 42 ES, 42 ES. Instead of 40, 43 and a half, use 42, 42, 42. All right, we have a little trigger in YM. Last two triggers, ES and NASDAQ, not in. Keep the stops. We have three minutes. If we hold these lows, we're gonna go for short squeezes. And Russell as well is gonna have a nice 15 minute high low here. So if you're thinking about Russell and if Russell is your thing, uh, it's gonna be 21, 14 and a half. To 21, 15. 14 and a half or 15 for the entry. The stop is going to be 2100. All right. Everything with, is with half the size. You don't have to take all the trades. Just pick one. All right. <clears throat> okay, yeah, I'll post it. I know it's 1030. It's very important for this 15 minute to start rotating. This is going to be it. 
this is going to be it. If we don't trigger here, we're done. Oil continues to be weak. All the stops are below these lows right here. All the stops are below the lows, all the stops. I'm telling you guys, there are some stocks that are pretty solid today. Looking across the board here and we should be seeing a pop here, not unless they they're running the machines into these indices. Come on, S&P. If S&P is going to manage to get a little bit higher and Russell, here it is. Do, how many of you guys got in Russell? We need 45 in ES. 45. On a takeover 45 in ES, we're running. We have a first target at 46. Anyone else? Anyone else took Russell? Okay. If we're not holding, if we didn't hold the 10 a.m. low, hey, Laura, awesome. You're rocking and rolling with Russell. Here's what I like about Russell. The 30 minute has already triggered and it has room to 24 
and it has room to 25, 25, 24 to 25 is going to be that decision point. But if it just smashes that 20 SMA, it will run higher. But if not, ultimately, it's going to return and um, it's going to go back down. All right, CL here is giving it up. But it's not really, it's bleeding, but it's not really crashing. You know what I mean? So we could just have some kind of, let's watch it on the 15th though. It's super important guys. If we don't hold these, uh, these 1030 numbers, it's not gonna be good. It's not gonna be good. All right, so we just stopped at a NASDAQ. NASDAQ stopped. New low, we have two more trades that are on. Russell Rooney's getting ready. Russell Rooney's getting ready for that 24 and 25. NASDAQ is at that confluence support. Yeah, this was very nice here, the five. It's actually on the 15-minute the high low, as we discussed here, um, worked out. Really nicely. It's always the, um, the most declined that is going to try to recuperate. All right.
Here's the 24 and 25 were hit. Okay, there's a little squeezy here that um, we could still go a little higher in Russell if you guys took Russell um, into 28. All right, good job, guys, and Russell. Good job, good job. See, we got dinged out of this uh, NASDAQ, but let's see. Let's start rocking and rolling. See, it's very easy to trade when the market is going either you know up or down or it's into a really good massive trend. But when the market is becoming a little bit um, uh, iffy, then um, a lot of traders are having a lot of problems because they don't know how to adjust to the market conditions. All right, so we have the first target in ES at 46, guys. Uh, we hit a high 44.75. YM, and I'm telling you, this NASDAQ is still going to run. NASDAQ is still going to run. Look at this really nice bottoming tail here. See where the machines did? They took everybody out and boom, back up. Uh, Russell doing really well, guys. Russell doing really well. Laura, you should be doing good. Did you get in on my call or did you get in earlier? More aggressively. Hey, Daniel, good morning. You're in Russell too? Awesome. Oh, perfect. Yes, that, that was the perfect entry. All right, YM is also looking really good right now. Oh, you got in 2115, that's perfect. Awesome, Daniel. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. So here's the 30s. Remember, it's into that 50 SMA room to squeeze, room to squeeze, at least into these areas right here, 34 to 36, 34 to 36. And we have SMP at target one. Remember, if you're very new to the room, I like to um, exit half of my position at target one, leave the rest in. And then at target two, scale out a quarter and the last lot for further targets. All right, we have a nice here. Let's see here what we need. We need a 38 in YM. We need a 38 in YM. And then we could see the 850s. Hey, Den, you got 2113.1 pivot. Awesome. Okay, Den, this, this is like a big scale out right here, the 2130. 2130, if you still want to stay in and give yourself a chance, 26 is your trail stop, 2126. 2126. If you want to put in a stop. If you don't want to exit here at 30, this is a big target. It's right into this um, 50 SMA. 
All right, we have our target two win ES at 48. We need to get, so from this point on, ES is on and is in trail mode. The last target is 50, but we are going to see probably 55, okay? We're probably gonna see 55. Okay, why am one point away from dot target one? Yes, all these trades are posted in the portfolio. All these trades are posted in the portfolio. See, the short squeezes are, if we start short squeezing a little bit more, we can be done. We can be done very soon. We just need a little bit of a pop up here. Not much, but. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. We need a, we, uh, you know, I'm thinking of a 55 here in ES, but it's gonna be by trailing. We are two ticks away from target one, from target three in ES. Uh, in Russell, I'm thinking to trail 28, but I'm just waiting because it's right into the uh, 10 EMA New York trading session charts on the 15 minute. Twenty eight is holding so far. Yeah, RTY trail twenty eight, guys. Twenty eight, twenty eight trail. Don't give anything back. It has room to squeeze into thirty four, maybe thirty seven, thirty four to thirty seven. All right, Wyme is making a new high. Uh, we have a high of 64. Our next target is 70. No, I'm not repeating NASDAQ. No, no, not repeating NASDAQ. It's not lifting off the bottom that much. I mean, it. even if it's gonna rotate, it's gonna have a really wide uh, risk. So Robinhood is going to receive a listing date on NASDAQ on July 29th. All right, here's ES at 50. We have target one, two, three from this point on. It's in trail mode. We're going to look for the next target going into this 10 EMA into the 55. And in YM, Why am we need 15 seconds to do the trail stop and the trail stop is going to be 830. No, it's going to be 828. 8, 8, 8. Okay. Uh, uh, Dead. <laughs> I was typing RTY because I was looking at your post instead of YM. Okay. Why am trail stop? Um, Eight to eight. Eight to eight. All 
Okay. And it trailed out eight to eight. Okay. All right. Um, see, we have three points to that 70. Only targeted one, only targeted one hit um, at 50, 850, and we trail 828 on the rest. So half at 850, half at 828. RTY trail is still 28. What's with the 28? All right, and ES. Last last trail i'm gonna give it a little bit of room i'm gonna put 42 42 last trail All right. What a day. It was the it it was not an easy day, I could tell you this. But it was fun. RTY is trying to hold the 29s right now. If it's going to pop over 34 and a half, raise the stop one point higher. Uh, RTY has massive resistance into the 10 EMA on the 15 minute. I will show you after the trade is wrapped up because I have my active traders here on and I don't want to mess it up. Because last time when I wanted to show a chart, I showed the chart and I accidentally closed my active trader. Okay. Um, yes. And I will show you why that was a big target right there and that why we need to trail a little bit tighter into the 28. It's going to make a lot more sense when I'm going to show you those charts. Okay. All right. So Russell Rooney is done. RTY done. Okay. Everything is done right now. Okay. Everything is done. Stick of work in it. Okay, now I'm watching and then I'm gonna show you some charts. I just wanna know if we have a short position or what's gonna uh, what's gonna happen here. So I'm just stocking, stocking price. I'm gonna take this down to the five minute. Mm 
What a roller coaster morning, right? Okay, here's the moment of truth that could be a bare flag formation in YM. Okay, so I'm seeing that NASDAQ is not giving up and I don't think this is a short. I think they're retesting and they may want to launch higher. I know Lori, like Chewy and there's so many other stocks that we're going to talk about that are uh, that are higher today. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> So the Dow has retested the same 7050 area and it's consolidating here. All right, let me show you guys what I was looking at uh, in Russell for my target. I was looking at the 10 EMA right here. Okay, so this is without the pre market data. These are just New York trading session charts. You could see that there is a gap here. So this is the 10 EMA along with uh, pivot resistance uh, into the 2137. We have this one into the 33. A lot of resistance area right here. So that's why it just started to pull back a little bit. So we trailed out. All right. Um, <clears throat> 
<clears throat> so then that, that was the reason why, right? So I use both charts, New York trading session charts alone and um, um, also continuous charts, obviously, for price action. Oil is incredibly weak. Oil is incredibly weak here. See, now NASDAQ is into the 10 EMA and it's also, you see this uh, dotted line right here and you see that every single time in the overnight trading session, meaning really pre-market, uh, we came in, we bounced, we came in again, we bounced neutral, 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 and then we popped up and then we swoosh back down, try to find support again. And now this is going to be the line in the sand. If we trade above 520 and stay above, above 520, we are gonna go to 540 to 550. But if not, and the price is gonna get rejected, it's gonna go back down. This is the sloppiest pattern. So it was literally a roller coaster ride today. Of course, Dan, I'm glad that helped. Dow breaking below. Usually um, what sets up around 1030 um, has a bit of momentum going into 1115. So I'm not going to take any decisions into 1115 because this may be a calibration in YM. Uh, by the way, bonds are very strong, very, very strong. They finally broke out. Um, ZB broke out over the 200 SMA for the first time in a very long time. And here's NASDAQ. With all these, uh, uh, with all this environment, I really didn't have time to take a look right now and see where we're at in the stock market. Because to me, that has a say, a big, big say. See, this is the momentum continuation. So it should continue for the next 10 minutes or so. Don't be quick on shorting here. And this could be a sandwich that is developing here over 34 and a half or so. I don't know. My internet is, I think my internet is slow or something. <sighs> Having some issues here. Um, SMP, yeah, is still part of that. So the 50 is that coil around area.
Still watching, guys. I honestly do not like this environment one bit for trading. This is kind of like... See, this can be another uh, one that is not triggering late participation in, um, in the Dow. But it's not set up yet. So see the five minute, you could go by the five minute high low. So you could do, uh, I'm not gonna take it. I, so I'm telling you right now, I'm not taking anything, but if you really must look at something and you want to push some buttons, which I don't recommend you do, it would be 830 by 720. This is not my call, by the way, so I, I don't want to do it yet. Looking at a scalp possibly here, 830 by 780, target 860. Possible scalp.
Yeah, rotation on the one hour. I'm looking here for that little scalp. It needs to close above the 10 EMA. If it doesn't close above the 10 EMA, it's going to get rejected and it's still going to stay in this area. Love low and high, low and high back again. Russell is extending oil. Oil, guys. Let's take a quick look. Oh, man. Didn't look at oil. Oh, Mr. Doji. Guys, what are you guys doing? This is the Doji alert right here on the five. All right, now we have to wait. This could be a, a short squeeze as well in oil because it's so extended to the downside. Uh, uh oh, okay, let's take a quick look. Russell is. Russell is back into the uh, back into the 20 SMA. Remember, we had a target at 37, but we exited, obviously, so we're not in anymore. But this was the ultimate target. 37. Okay, let's take a look at what we have in oil. We have two more seconds. Um. Yeah, this is a really wide stop. If you want to take it with micros, that's fine. Um, it is rather better with micros than full size. It's up to you. It depends on what kind of account you have. Small, big, medium. Um, 67 point. Well, it needs to get over 20. 67, 67, 20 by the low. 67, 20 by the low in CL. Okay. Um, sixty-seven forty, sixty-seven fifty for the targets. All right, triggered. Fifteen minute trigger as well in uh, YM. YM long eight thirty. The stop has to be the law of the day. 720. Target 850, 880, and on velocity, 900.
Uh, NASDAQ is coming in. S&P is holding above the 50. All right, everything is coming in. Cancel, cancel, Nast uh, cancel, YM, cancel, YM. We're going to revisit it, but cancel it for now. This is the first green tick for oil on the 15 minute structure, and it's not really sustaining. Why am I still a watch? I know, crazy. Crazy, crazy market. All right, so CL still uh, holding. We're on standby with YM still watching. Can you guys hear me? Because I'm getting a pop up that my mic is muted. Just a quick, okay, thanks, Phyllis. That's so weird. Like I'm getting, so I have this pop up on my screen saying, saying that my mic is muted. Okay, thank you. Weird things happen on Monday. <laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah, in oil, the stop is still the stop. And All right.
Market doesn't have a lot of pressure in it right now. Wow, not doing anything. All right. See that doji on the 15 minute and YM is pretty interesting. The higher low, for example, now that we're heading, we are literally less than two minutes into the close of the London session. And we're pretty much not seeing any continuation of the dump. Probably gonna get stopped from crude. Keep that hard stop set.
London session has closed. Sixty five is our stop, 10, 10 cents away from where it is trading right now. This is interesting here in NASDAQ, I have to tell you. This is actually five minute rotation. Uh, it would be 42 or 43, even 44. So around, so anywhere above 42, the stop would be 515 or so or 520. Let's, let's just wait and see how it trades. We may have another trade. See, it triggered already. Okay, let's repeat YM. YM, same parameters, scroll up and pick it up. It's gonna be 830 by 720, target 850, 880, and uh, 900 on velocity. Here it is again. In fact, yeah, you know what? Um, we can pick it up 825, 825 versus 830 entry. A25, entry A25. Okay, entry A25 versus A30 that we had here. Okay, CL stopped, punched into 63. We may go at it again. All right, we triggered in YM. Currently we are long YM. We're gonna do it again. We're gonna do CL again. So we're looking for 850, 880 and on velocity 900 and, uh, and the Dow. I want to look at this five minute high low. In any case, the stop is going to be under 60. Um, the entry may be, see, I, I missed that NASDAQ. It happened too fast. Um, it's the machines trading today. It's not, it's, it's, it's just not having any kind of, um, other kind of participation is just uh, algos. 6710. 6710 entry. 
by 6660. MCL, MCL, like I said, MCL is a good choice uh, because of the white stops. Uh, so 67.10 is the entry. Um, the stop is 66 points. Let's put it 59. Okay. pretty much kind of like the same targets. We're gonna do 67.30, so we're gonna do uh, 0 0.30, 0 0.40, 0 0.50. 40 is gonna be a big deal. If it breaks over 40, it's gonna go higher. Okay, so we had a punch over 40, we had a high 42, and we have our first target in 850 in YM. No trigger in oil yet. Russell has been the nicest behavior. Jamie, you got in 475. Okay. Let's wait and see how this candle is closing and then you can use this as a stop. You could use either. I would say use this 10 EMA here at the 550. It's trending nicely off the two minutes. So we wanna make sure that, um, so the two minute is, screaming like a little mini pullback. So you can see that it's loving the 20 SMA. So what I'm thinking is that if you wanna trail it tighter, you can use obviously this 50 area or you can wait until it pivots. You can wait until it pivots. I'm not sure today with the pivoting thing, honestly. I'm not really sure. Cause I don't know if it's gonna do a, you know, it's going to change direction, but honestly, you know, I see it that it's following this 20 SMA. So here we have this whole consolidation and finally popping, retracing to the 20 SMA popping up. And I think it's going to want to come back here. If you want to give it a little bit of more room, then you'll have to wait for the pivot to form. But then again, your ultimate stop is going to have to be uh, below 517. I don't know if you want to wait that long and give back profits on a day like today. I would take any kind of profit possible. I was looking to see if we punch in the Dow over that 550 so we can lock in profits and uh, bring the stop up to break even. See, Russell is really firm. I don't know. Just curious, any, any, uh, is anyone holding this crazy Russell trade?
Okay, Jamie, the moment of truth. Carrie, you have been adding to RTY. Awesome. Yeah, I'm not holding anything. Like I said today, I'm just not a um, bit more conservative. All right, in about four minutes, we may be pivoting from this area. Okay, now you have a pivot. See how it loves? It loves this 20 SMA. Now the final stop, Jamie, if you're still in, has to go below this pivot, 42 right now, if you're trailing it, if you're trailing it. And we're back into the 42s um, into YM. We're almost getting a sandwich, a bull sandwich here in um, oil. So if oil is going to start trading above 67, then we have a bull sandwich and then we can expect the next target to get back into 67.20. There we go. All right, we have the 50. Just stay in a little bit, just stay in a little bit. Oil is forming a doji on the one hour. It still has 15 minutes to go. Come on, oil. And <laughs> Paul, <laughs> I don't blame you. I'm like kind of jittery here, but you know that I like to hold a little bit longer we have a full completion here we have a really good strong chance of continuing to 900 okay we have the 860s we have the next target into 80 which is 20 points from where we are right now uh because we have hit target one Oh, I can't bring the stop to break even. We will have to put it somewhere below. I don't want to get dinged out just because I'm just chunking in the stop to tight. I want to see how we close this candle here. We have 40 seconds left. And within the next 40 seconds, if we close over 60 or at least 50, we're going to bring the stop up to YM. And it's very important that we start trading above 67 we're three cents in oil three cents in oil we need to get to 67. awesome good job good job guys okay here we go 10 seconds to go i can't bring the stop to break even but i'm gonna bring it at 800 remember that we have already taken out half at 850. All right, now official stop goes to 800 and YM, YM trail stop 800. Boom. There we go. There we go. Come on. All right, if we manage to get over 900, just hypothetically, if we start taking off, because this is an, a, a super strong support zone that we're in right now, uh, it is deriving from a higher time frame. And if we see that 
uh, 900 and break over 900, we could, uh, we could see uh, 930 or even 950. And we're gonna have an um, hourly rotation in at 910. So if we manage to continue the strength within the next five, five minutes to 15 minutes, we can potentially trigger 910. And 910 is gonna bring the short squeeze into 34,000, which is another 100 points. But we're gonna take it one step at a time. And by the way, you guys that nailed Russell, Wowzers, awesome, awesome, awesome. Good job. We are rocking and rolling again in CL. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Nice trigger. CL is going to be a top watch in about, um, I don't know, let's say 15 minutes. This is the nice doji, 15 minutes. This could have a much bigger short squeeze opportunity here. We hit target two in YN at 880, scale some out. Like I said, I like to take out half at 850. I take I like to take a quarter into 880 and then I really like to leave some in for further trailing. Now, this is a big decision point. We are into the 10 EMA on the 15 minute and you know what we need to do here. We need to close above this in the next uh, 12, 13 minutes. Break the stop up to break even in YM. YM stop to break even on the rest. Now, if it turns around, if it turns around, we already have booked profits at target one and target two. Yeah, it did. It did. It did trigger. Yes. And now, Brad, you know the drill, fingers crossed. <laughs> we need to we need to see how it's holding. Let's take it back. I love this setup, by the way. Love, love, love this setup. If we hold within the next 10 minutes and within the next 15 minutes, if we pop up a little bit higher, we're gonna have this short squeeze that can take the price to 68 and possibly even 68.50. I'm not having high hopes for today, but this can happen. 30 minutes is also cool, right? 30 minutes has a, another trigger at 24. 25. We have it at 6710. Our entry 6710 by 6659. YM is um see, I I I would like to give it a little bit more room, but I don't trust this market. Typically. Typically, this should be the low of the day. This low, this 724 in the Dow should be the low of the day. And same with the rest of the indices. Um, for example, Russell 2100 bounce area, uh, 4230 area is support in S&P, NASDAQ um, into this 40 level uh, support has a low 45, these levels need to hold. If these levels are gonna hold, we're gonna go higher in the afternoon trading session. But like I said, I don't have a lot of confidence in this market. Market is very, very, very jittery right now. I mean, we've been so busy with so many trades today. Uh, we typically don't take, don't, we typically take one trade. Today we had like, oh my gosh. Uh, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight trades today. Crazy. All right, so uh, why am the stop is at break even? Uh, our break even is 825 at this point. It also has support into the 840. So if 840 is going to hold within the next five minutes, 
we are going to see a new high. If 840 is going to be violated, we're going to come in to, 820, to 830, 825, 820, possibly back into the 800, or maybe even a full retracement back into the low of the day. But let's see if we hold. Uh, oil, 10 more minutes left into this uh, candle and also uh, back into the 67, trading over the six, uh, trading into the 67. We need a little bit more pressure into it. A little bit of more buying pressure. And if oil, and by the way, guys, oil gave us a signal last week because oil was weak last week. The market was still making new highs. Uh, in some indices, but oil was giving us the sign that the market is uh, kind of like done uh, with the rally. And uh, we've seen uh, pullbacks in oil, right? And this put a lot of pressure on price. So whenever we, I see a lot of pressure in oil, then I look at the market and say, hey, you know what? We could possibly see the market coming in. So this did not come unexpectedly today. All right. So let's see how that 840 is going to be holding. We still have eight more minutes left into this time segment. Uh, by the way, today we start the um, technical analysis uh, mastery course. We started at two o'clock. Let's go to a smaller structure here. See this 840, like I said, I have my stop at break even at 25 for the rest of the position because we are into, um, um, I think we're gonna get dinked out here um, on our last, last lot, which is not bad. It, it, it had a really nice move. It had a, it went into 82, target one, target two hit. If it would have went to 900, then it would have had that 900 would have released the cap off resistance and it would have had another 100 point uh, um, room. All right, so here we have oil, nice, running, higher. Nice, nice, nice. We are 10 cents up, 10 cents up. going to be a nice if we hold these highs it's going to be a nice close okay so we're done with ym done with ym so we had target one and target two hit last lot we trailed uh into break even but nice Nice. See, when you are using half the size, you can afford to get into more trades. Okay, here's the 20. We are 10 cents away from our target one at 67.30 and take, I'm taking half off there, just FYI, because we have that pivot. You see this heavy resistance into the 30s? That's why I'm taking off half. Don't be greedy. Just scale out, scale out, scale out, and then leave the last lot for trailing. Target one hit in oil. I'm I just 
took half out. I just took half out of oil. Let's make it pay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Nice, nice, nice. We're, we have four more minutes into the close. We have another doji uh, right here in NASDAQ. I could go for a nap right now. <laughs> wow, what a busy day. Um, nice rotation in YM, but I'm not in anymore. We're approaching the top of the hour and uh, I have to take off. We have a class that starts at 2 p.m. I gotta get ready for the class. Okay, so now we need to see, uh, we need to see a print of 37, 67, 37 in oil in order to start going higher. Um, in oil, you could bring your stop to break even. <laughs> Thanks, Lori. Oh, I know this in these days, you, you could be massively down, trust me. Everybody, everybody massively down. It, it, th these days are crazy. These days are the days that where we blow accounts. Okay, just an FYI, I am not overly bullish on oil. This is just a short squeeze that we're trading. Keep in mind that if oil is going to start trading below 6640, it's going to go much lower, most likely to 60. OK, because it's going to go, uh, it's going to do a monthly sell. Yes, absolutely. These are the best days for education, not the days when you like, you know, when we go in, it's like print money, print money, print money. So it's raining cash. These are the best days to get educated. Honestly, these are lessons in the market. OK, so the indices are done. By the way, Russell, congratulations. If you guys are still holding it, you guys are heroes. You're awesome. Um, and I'm looking at this 30 minute rotation that has just kicked in. 30 is a big deal right here. So we need to see the price stabilize above 30. We have to stop and break even right now. So in case the price is going to revisit 67.10, we're going to be out. We have targeted one half the half the size. Uh, of our trade is out 67.3. Uh, now there's no reason why anybody should not be out half because we do have micros available. So before you could say, oh yeah, you know what? I didn't make any money and then I put my stop at break even. But now there's no reason why you should not take profits at target one. No reason, no reason, okay? Okay. Um, all right. So we're going to keep the stop and here's the game plan. Okay. Here's the game plan. Like I said, for today, it's going to be on a hour by hour watch and it's going to be actually a 15 minute by 15 minute watch. Um, okay. Let me put an alert here so you guys can see it. That is the trail stop. I'm not going to stay in any longer. I don't know what the market is going to be doing. Um, it is, we're going to talk a little bit about it in just one second. Okay. So keep that, uh, keep that trail stop at break even and done. Okay. And done. It printed in 09, done, trade closed. 
So we did 20 cents on it, 10 cents if you use half the size, that's perfect, okay? Not, not bad, not bad. Okay, so let's talk about the markets and the market structure. And this is going to be a wrap and I can tell you what we can expect in the afternoon trading session. Um, if you guys wanna stick around and trade the afternoon, I am literally done. But uh, this is what the charts are telling us. All right, number one, YM. Like I said, we trailed out. So we're flat on absolutely every single trade that we took. All the trades that I post in the trading room are designed to work in the first two hours. However, if you still want to trade the uh, afternoon session, these are some numbers that get ready to write them down. YM. If YM is going to trade over 883, with a stop and if the low of the day is going to hold if the stop is 720 it will go to 34,000. this is going to be the short squeeze if the price is going to violate the low of the day into 724 which is this candle right here it will have room for lower it will have room for much much lower so um the uh the next area that i'm looking for is actually 675 that is the next target that we have and of course it does have room for lower uh as well you can pick up the targets off of your um four hour hourly charts and also daily charts m and &E smp triggered this rotation 10 o'clock was the low of the day today it hasn't violated the low of the day it just printed the low of the day into 10 o'clock uh, the low is 31.25. If it breaks below 31.25, it's going to go lower. We do have some levels here, 42.11. This is, by the way, this is a massive support level. I It wouldn't be a surprise for me if I see the price even go to 4,200 and then trying to take out, again, the stops because stops are in right now. Uh, the stops are in from traders like us that are looking for the counter trend trades and they're looking so now our number one goal is to see if they're taking some profits off of this massive down day that we've had in the market right now, 71 points down into the m and &E SMP. So if we violate this 4,200 and if we stay below 4,200, shorts are still going to have the upper hand. So look for shorts uh, below this 4,200. Uh, also, uh, if the price, and you can see that the trigger point was uh, 42.50, Lori has mentioned 42.50 before the market opened uh, as a key level. So once again, the market has rotated off of that key level and it didn't have a lot of uh, momentum to actually complete a retracement uh, and complete a pullback uh, from this into this downtrend into like these into the 65 area 65 is becoming the new resistance spot in nasdaq we do have a 10 a 10 a.m low so you can see that we have really formed nice 10 a.m lows for the new york trading session and as long as these 10 a.m lows are going to hold throughout this uh, afternoon these are going to uh pretty much be in play even in the overnight trading session and in the afternoon session or in the overnight trading session if we violate these 10 a.m lows then we are going much lower and in nasdaq we do have room for lower at least to 14 400 and 14 300 this could actually be here an hourly sell however this is confluence support so this is uh don't take this very very lightly i would like to wait for more confirmation before we put in some uh, for example, some swing shorts into these areas. All right, so we already triggered a one hour rotation over uh, 520. We uh, we actually, and we were actually stalking, remember that five minute right here. And I said, you know what? I just want to see the other indices participate into this, uh, uh, into this rotation. And it happened so fast, it took the price higher, challenged the prior high from the open, and now it's coming back in. So it has violated the 20 SMA. Once it violates the 20 SMA, especially on a small time frame structure, um, the pattern is a little bit more damaged. So it's going to need a lot of more calibration before we look at a long or a short. The big winner today was Russell. Russell managed to come back up. It's actually uh, down 0.7% and it was down more than 2% when the market opened. And um, it, it, it has violated, it has uh, broken above this resistance area into the 21, uh, 2147. Massive support, like we have discussed in the pre-market game plan into the 2100, those 
uh, multiple tops uh, from the weekly chart that we talked about. And we said that we reached the uh, 2100, we popped 2100, we popped 2100, we popped again. And here we are popping again over this. Uh, we will talk more about this uh, uh, tomorrow and depends on how and where we close today. We're going to see what the game plan is. We're going to take it one day at a time. It's better and it's safer to do it this way. Uh, gold is into a nowhere, uh, no place to place the trade territory. So we're just going to leave it alone. And oil, uh, finally, we have this nice bottoming, uh, bottoming candle. Uh, and if oil within the next um, 50 minutes uh, is going to take out uh, the high of 67.35, so it needs to print 37, 38 or so, it's going to go for a squeeze into the 68 or 68.30. I was really hoping that when we got in, you know, it would really do that uh, right now. But if the market is going to become weak, uh, take a look at oil, because if oil is going to start bleeding again, you're pretty much going to see the indices follow along. Okay. All right. This is it for today, guys. I will see you at two o'clock. Thank you for enrolling in the power. Um, no, in the um, technical analysis mastery course, we have the power income futures trading course scheduled for next week. So uh, there's still very few seats left. I don't work with many, many traders at once. So if you want to join, you guys are going to have a priority if you want to sign up for the course. Uh, and that is starting next Monday. But today and tomorrow, we have the power income. Uh, we have, I'm sorry, we have the technical analysis mastery course. It's from two o'clock to four o'clock. Thanks so much, everyone. And I will see you in class at two o'clock for those of you that have enrolled. If not, I will see you tomorrow at uh, 9 a.m. This is a wrap. Enjoy the rest of the day and stay safe in this market. Bye, guys.